वेलकम बैक एस द लेटेस्ट बायोस अपडेट फॉर द एल सी डी वेरियंट ऑफ स्टीम डेक अलाउज एस टू ओवर क्लॉक एट्स जी पी यू हाउ एवर द मैक्सिमम टी डी पी फॉर इट्स ए पी यू स्टिल लॉक डेट फिफ्टीन वॉट्स आई एम नॉट एक्सपेक्टिंग एनी रियलिस्टिक गेम्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस विद द माइनर ओवर क्लॉकिंग ऑफ द जी पी यू विल सी इन ऑर टू डाउनलोड दिस लेटेस्ट बायोस यू नीड टू स्विच टू द मेन बिल्ड ऑफ स्टीम ओ एस नो दिस बिल्ड इंक्लूड्स अ लॉड ऑफ न्यू एंड अपकमिंग फीचर्स ऑफ स्टीम ओ एस डेट आर इन टेस्टिंग फेज बिल्ड इज अ बिट पगी It's only recommended to those users who know what they are doing. Good thing is that we can revert to the stable build of SteamOS at any time. This is exactly what I am going to do after flashing the BIOS. The BIOS update will persist. So first, I'll show you how to switch to the main build of SteamOS. This is SteamOS running in gaming mode. Tap on Steam, go to Settings, and go to Developer. Scroll down a bit. You'll find this setting. Show advanced update channels. Enable it. Now just go to system. OS update channel. Tap on it. The bar adjacent to it. From here, just select main. Make sure deck is connected to an internet connection. Checking for updates. Apply. Wait for the process to complete. Update has been downloaded. Before applying it, I'll just show you my current BIOS version. My deck is running on stable SteamOS version 3.5.90, BIOS version F7A0121. Restart. I had installed Refine script on my Steam Deck for dual booting Windows and SteamOS. As this update updated the BIOS, it completely nuked the Refine script. You will be required to reinstall it. The process is shown on Tech Wizard YouTube channel. I'll skip it. I'll straight away boot into SteamOS. Do not worry. Both SteamOS and Windows partitions are still present on Steam Deck. If your Steam Deck is only running on SteamOS, you won't be seeing this message. No any active boot option. We can ignore it. Select boot from file. Select the first option. Select EFI. Select SteamOS. Select SteamCL.EFI. It will boot into SteamOS. Finally, we are in. On the main channel, the current version of SteamOS is 3.7. Just tap on Steam Settings. Tap on System. Scroll down a bit. There's the version of SteamOS 3.7, kernel version, and this is the BIOS version F7A0131. Now I'll just downgrade to SteamOS version 3.5.19. Just tap on the bar adjacent to OS Update channel. Tap on Stable. Searching for updates. Apply. BIOS update will persist. Done. Tap on Restart. Deck restarted. Now just check the system settings. We successfully downgraded to SteamOS version 3.5.19, but we still have the latest BIOS update S7A0131. Now just turn off Steam Deck. We will be accessing its BIOS menu. Just press and hold power and up volume buttons in order to access the BIOS. Release the power button after a second, but keep holding the plus volume button until you see Steam Deck's logo. There you go. Now just select Setup Utility option. Go to the Advanced section. Just scroll down to the end. Okay, it seems we can overclock not only the GPU but also the CPU. I have undervolted Steam Deck's processor using modest values: 20 millivolt for CPU, GPU, and SoC voltage offsets. The maximum clock speed for Steam Deck CPU is 3.5 GHz. For its GPU, it's 1.6 GHz. First, I'll access the CPU clock speed. CCL Auto. Change it to Manual. Now I can set the value. Just select CCL FK Max Override. Valid input range 0 to 4200 MHz. Just using the trackpad to move the pointer. Press it. Opens up the virtual keyboard. I'll overclock the CPU by 400 megahertz. I'll just enter a value of 3900 megahertz. There you go. Yes, we have overclocked the CPU. Do the same thing for the GPU. Select GFXCL. Override control. Change its mode from auto to manual. I'll just set its value to 1800 megahertz. And just click on GFXL override. Input the number. It's up to you. Eighteen 
Yes, GPU clock speed range is from 0 to 2200 MHz. You have my buffer size. I am using 4 GB. Save the settings. Press the select button right here. Yes. I tried many games with the overclock applied. In most of them, the clock speeds for both CPU and GPU never exceeded the default values. In GTA 4 and Resident Evil 2, I did observe the GPU clock speed going slightly over 1600 MHz. This only happened for a brief moment. Practically speaking, I did not observe any performance improvements with the overclock applied. I'll run GTA 4. Performance tab, only level set to 3. Frame limit set to 60, and that's it. Display settings 800p resolution, high settings. Disable VSync, that's it. Okay, CPU clock speed here is around 3.3 gigahertz, close to 3.5 gigahertz, never exceeded it. 3 1499 MHz. I'll just stress out the GPU now. Set the shadow setting to very high. I'll just set shadow quality to very high. FPS dropped down to around 40, and you can see GPU clock speed increased up to 1713 MHz. Overclock definitely work on the GPU. Depends on the sequence. Now I'll be running Resident Evil 2. Performance tab, overlay level set to 3, frame limit set to 60, and that's it. Graphics settings, 800p resolution, not using FSR. High preset, texture quality 4GB. Mesh quality and shadow quality set to max, all effects enabled. Motion blur disabled, that's it. Dex APU cannot draw more than 15 watts of power. It's a big limiting factor. Here, GPU clock speed is around 1600 MHz. Yeah, exceeded it. CPU clock speed is around 2.1 GHz. This game is more demanding on the GPU. Has stunning visuals, runs amazingly smooth on Steam Deck with maxed out settings. Good optimization. So that's it with the video, guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.